Hey, it's me, Tommy. So right now, this camera is set to 1 50th of a second shutter speed. ISO 12,800, and I'm only at f4.5. And the reason that's interesting is behind me, I have the Aperture Nova P300C, one of the brightest lights available in its class. And it's at 100% power. It's incredibly bright. That's why today I'm gonna to be talking about neutral density filters, particularly the magnetic neutral density filters from Freewell. I've got, I've got a few of their neutral density filters. That one that we had there was the ND16. Now, if I were to throw the ND1000 onto my lens there, uh, clearly and that is meant for some incredibly bright light. Now, why, why would you do this, right? Like, why would you have a super bright light behind you indoors when obviously you could just turn it down, right? In what case is that useful? Well, for me particularly, uh, I do a Wednesday night live stream. And I found that when I'm navigating my computers in front of me over here, the way the monitor changes when it, when the screen flashes between browsers or something white pops onto the screen, it completely changes my lighting setup. And because my live stream is all about lighting, it's called getting lit, that's really distracting. And when I spend a whole bunch of time to set up a scene to make sure that I'm lit the way that I want to be lit, and then I turn my computer on for the stream, then I have like a completely, you know, different wash of fill light. So a way to counter that would be to use an ND filter indoors in your studio and whatever setup, kind of like what I'm doing. So now when my monitor changes, it will cause the lighting on my face to change less uh, because it will be less intense because I'm just making up for it by making everything else brighter, but I don't want to change my shutter speed and I want to keep my settings reasonable in my camera. So using ND filters, indoors is a good way to control your lighting a little bit better if you want to drown out some of the other practicals or ambience or just other things that are causing light. Uh, I was going to make this video about the Atom Mini Pro because it used to have super bright buttons but they added firmware to uh, make it so you could dim those buttons down really low. I still think it's useful to know that you know that's one way to counteract uncontrollable ambient lighting if you want to have a very controlled lighting setup. I've had these ND filters for a while, like six months, but I got them right as soon as everybody started staying inside and I haven't gone anywhere, so I haven't been able to talk about and review these filters, uh, which really kind of was a bummer um, because they're really high quality. I really like the little magnetic interface. So this is a UV filter and then this is the ND filter and they attach to each other and then those can just attach on top of the lens and stuff like that. And so you can have everything attached. And if you take that a step further, um, I always struggle with my Sigma lens caps. I really like my Sigma lenses. I think the glass is great, but I never, I mean, I've spent like 30 seconds trying to get a lens cap onto the Sigma 18 to 35 and now the Sigma 24 to 70, the lens that I'm currently using to film myself. Um, I always struggle with the lens caps and so they also make magnetic lens caps. Boom. So the lens cap, uh, it comes with its own little ring that you can use to screw onto the lens and then you can just use uh, Freewell's little magnetic lens caps, which are super handy. The only problem I found with them was uh, with the Sigma lens cap in particular on the 24 to 70, this lens cap is made in such a way that it's really hard to get your fingers under the lens cap to take it off. So I have to take the lens hood off of the 24 to 70 to get the free well magnetic lens cap off and then I can put the lens hood back on. But then putting the lens cap back onto the lens when you're done is really fast and easy. It's like the opposite with uh, just using Sigma's native lens lens caps. You can take them off real easy, but it takes forever to put them back on. Like I can never get those lens caps back on. They also have variable neutral density filters. This one is the six to nine stop filter. Then we've got the two to five stop filter here. There's ones that are super expensive. I think Freewell are probably the more affordable yet uh, high quality brand. There's there's plenty of reviews on the internet about these. And if you just want one set of ND filters, particularly the kind that are the variable kind because they're a little bit more expensive, you can also get some uh, step up rings, which you can use to use your larger ND filters on these smaller lenses. I think you can actually get step down filters also. So now you can get step down rings, but you're gonna get a lot of vignetting if you do a step down because then of course you're cutting off the sides of your lens. So get the biggest ND filter or fader or variable neutral density filter that you need for all of your lenses and then get step up rings. The only problem with step up rings is then you can't use your lens hoods because obviously if it's too big for the lens hood to go around, you can't use it. 
So those are some of the things to think about. Um, I've I really I mean I've played with a few different uh, you know budget brands. If I need to use an ND fader or filter in front of a lens, then if, I mean if I don't have a matte box or something, uh, it's going to be free well because it's just they're the best quality version of this that I've found so far, and they're the easiest to use, particularly with the little magnets. But just the fiddliness of uh, ND filters, that's that's when a cinema camera becomes really interesting because they have the ND filters built in and you just don't have to fiddle with them. Uh, so those are some things to think about and I've had these around for a while. I've been meaning to talk about them but I've just never got around to it. And I wanted to share this with you guys. It's not like one of my regular videos. Uh, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.